everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I'm your host for this Astro Forecast, May 10th, 2023. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if anyone is hopping on to this live. I have the physical manifestation of the cosmic dance. And because there is a lot going on there, you know what I like to do. I like to look at what is boiling under the surface. And that means comparing the physical chart of the day with the emotional chart of the day. So thank you for joining this morning. Okay, so we have a lot of up-leveling. Up-leveling in awareness, taking things to the next level. And we have this being created. Today, we have the moon. This moon, <laughs> this moon, this moon is coming close and is conjunct to Pluto retrograde. This energy is very much about making things boil under the surface. So there's a lot to be expected through this phase of time. Everything is not linear in time, but this is kind of boiling cosmically. So some of you may have already felt this where you're just feeling this energy boiling because it's kind of creating what we call a T-square. Oh, happy birthday there. <laughs> a T-square is highly volatile. What we mean by volatile, this energy here that is squaring with Jupiter opposite here with Mars is about illumination, revelations. Now we have this aspect here that is making everything boil up that is trying with the sun that is conjunct with Uranus. So the sun is your consciousness. Uranus is a sacred rebel. This is the one that wants to change status quo. And that means that right now, everything you're feeling, okay, is really helping you to understand something that has been blocking what? Your abundance. This placement here for Mars is very much about healing yourself with understanding the abundance of life through its own nature, the nature of everything. Oh, you felt it. Yes, some of you. And it's very interesting because I've been, you know, posting sometimes on the stories certain things that I feel that are appropriate for those things, okay, as far as the energies. And some of you really resonated with a post that was about patterns. Right now, this is why I was feeling this energy here. Why are we struggling? This whole energy here is also about gratitude, unconditional love, feeling blessed, feeling lucky. Okay, it's been one of my reels. And here it's being challenged. We're trying to heal the things that ails us. The things that makes us stall in our growth, okay? But that means that there's a lot boiling. And again, this is when I love to see, because I can feel it. When I look at maps, I can feel the energy. I'm like, mm, 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 okay? So I look into the comparison of the tropical and draconic of the energies. And this is my favorite, the yard. <laughs> so pinball energies on both sides. Spoof. Okay, and shooting into the expression of Mars in the physical, but it is being, let me see, this is not happening well. <laughs> it's kind of like blurs a little bit. In the emotional aspect of that conjunction of the moon and Pluto retrograde and Neptune. So this is all coming back to the fact that right now, and it's interesting because the placement changed, you guys. They change zodiac signs when you compare draconic to tr tropical, okay? So what is here in the emotional space of those placements? It is about psychic activation, Claire's. It's about self-mastery of your emotions, understanding that everything that's boiling under the surface has the requirement to not let yourself explode because this energy, remember, this is volatile. This energy can <laughs> make you blow up. <laughs> I don't know. I have this song in my mind. <laughs> We're going to blow up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> so let me catch up a little bit. Some of you, the moon for y'all <laughs> is doing something weird. Yes, well, you know, um, 
I'm sorry for your dog, honey. Oh, I love animals. So yes, so spot on. I'm really seeing really old toxic patterns and fears. It is literally like we are on a stove <laughs> and things are just, this is like this fire underneath. It's just kind of like boiling and making sure that it comes to the surface. It comes to the awareness because those things are keeping you from your growth. And guess what? The universe likes growth because it doesn't grow, then it dies. Okay, so the universe is all abundant everywhere and it supports what grows. So that means it feels inside of you, okay? The things that are prone to grow and that's why this is this boiling underneath. It wants you to actually find the gem, find the things that will, you know, offer you growth and offer you the abundance to kind of like, you know, really resonate and give the feedback because the world is your mirror. So you're seeing all this abundance that uh, you guys, I, I mean, I have like this green screen so you can't see. I'm like 8,000 feet high in altitude. I'm seeing mountains. I'm in the Rockies. I'm like, this is gorgeous. I wake up with moose. I wake up with deers. <laughs> so it shows you the abundance and not to take it for granted, but also kind of like seeing that this is a reflection of what's inside of you. So there are mountains of potential and power that you have inside of you that is there for you to access, okay? So right now, what we have is really this tension and it's all about those angles that speaks of emotional mastery. So all my empaths out there, uh, some of you came to me and asked me like, what do I do with my anxiety? Anxiety is a sign that you are under high intensity, especially cosmically, and that you're not processing the higher message from source, your higher self, your ancestors, whatever guides you have, but really your higher guidance. And it is here, this specific placement of the moon and Pluto retrograde in Sagittarius for the draconic emotional chart is about spiritual communication. So it's telling you to resolve your emotional and to know how to address it in your physical reality. You have to communicate with spirits. Some of you, I get some sessions together and you ask me, Audrey, how do I manifest my spiritual business? How do I make it grow? How, all the questions you ask me have the same answer. It is about bringing more source energy, God's energy, goddess energy, what the higher self energy more into the physical vessel. When you do this, this activates all the line of your chakras. This activates the heart. The heart is in perfect unison with your soul. So all the other chakra, they're playing resonance with physical chakras. You want to access your soul, you want to access your purpose, you have to heal the heart and you have to expand it to the fourth dimensional version, which helps you ascend everything to fifth. Okay, so this kind of like a lot of um, emotional awareness put into knowledge. So it's really merging your heart in coherence with your mind, but it has to be led from the heart field because your heart can tap into a bigger field of awareness than the mind. If you're trying to conceive from the mind, it can only conceive what it sees or what it, you know, it's like even imagination, creativity, you need the heart to feel that it's possible. This is why some of you out there really pay attention to what you envision, to what you imagine, because you're creating the field for this reality to come to life. Whether it's good or it's bad, you're the creator. So it's really right now in the cosmic dance to attune us to a higher emotional awareness. And yes, it's far more than powerful portal. Yes, so your heart is gonna open those gates, timelines, you know, dimensions and realms that are going to be part of your abundance. So this is what we have for today. Thank you so very much, you guys for, you know, tuning in today. I will see you 
tomorrow. Namaste.